What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy 16 again. <coughs> Finally got it right. And this is part uh, 10 of me playing it. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like, subscribe, and let's get started. So I said last in the last video I was going to make that 3 hours. But good news, I only have 6 hours until like the game is almost done. So I'll try and make this video three hours. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot anyway. I see we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look ahead, boys. Pull ahead. And keep those furnaces fed. Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands. Battle stations. Let's see what this girl can do. Wait, what am I gonna do? I never gotten this far in a game. Where one leads, so does the other follow. A bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Joshua, this would be a really good time for you to turn to a phoenix so you can fly me over there. Oh wait, I forgot. You're in a wooden ship and I'll just burn it. Ah, didn't burn. Through the main.
Oh. This is really useless.
Jill. You came. Get back. Hi. <sighs> Clive, how did you? I'll explain later. Had. <laughs> Out of here, I can. What the? Stand still. Phoenix, are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. If they actually made a Final Fantasy live action film, I really do not know how they're gonna pull it off. Oh god. Impressive. I'm actually not gonna lie, that's pretty impressive. Better survive. To where? You. Whatever your name was. You. Hi. What did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation, and thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? Yeah. The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is. But suffering. <sighs> you must embrace 
the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. Am I gonna fight him? Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. We're gonna fight? Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Oh, hell yeah! We don't have to do this! Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Come! The hell? Get you already. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. It's as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you lacking. Too slow. All this fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. Dare you? You know naught of this world, nor of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. Rise, Lucas. Thanks. Defend yourself. I have seen it now. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion that might. Wait, did I switch to an older blade? So soon. Never. Clive. Did I switch blades? How? See, your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. 
We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Muthos. Why do you keep calling him Muthos? The might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone a Kashyyyk? Not turn, Muthos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. Oh god. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, <clears throat> the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. So I take it he's gonna be the final boss. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back. Ooh, 6,000 points. Nice.
The others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made oh, it. Oh. Well, I had to block that because they were both naked. And Jill has found herself a real man. And I'm proud of her for that. Good job, Jill. And Clive, my guy. And Jill just gave away his power, her power to Clive. Okay, they're good. Okay, good. They're on clothes now. Jill has given her power to Clive. So now Clive owns the ice thing. I mean, Clive now has the power of Shiva. And that was honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I wish I cried, but I didn't. See? She found herself a real man. You know, if there was a girl my if there was a girl that I need to find herself a real man, it'd be me. Like seriously, if I had a girlfriend, I would be loyal to her always. Like I will never cheat on her. I will unfollow some people that, you know, on Instagram, and I'll also unsubscribe to it a lot. I'll just I'll unlike and remove everything and i'll only be loyal to her because she's my girlfriend and if a girl tries talking to me i'll say back off girl i have a boyfriend back off girl i have a girlfriend besides there is something we must do first what's that of course drake's spine we're gonna break his spine mother crystal that's too much I mean, I know he's a pedophile, but I didn't think you should break his spine that badly. I mean, not even Kendrick might do that. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. Yes, we will. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. Promise. Oof, what's inside here? When I said Drake's the pedophile, he really is because he's been talking to Millie ever he since she was thirteen. Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But it's tall. And then it's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sell for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few plants will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Across the uh, narrow. Now I have Shiva. I should visit Joshua. Hold on. Assuming Talia will allow it. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of pep. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Uh... Is that all? Oh, the stew's awfully thin these days. Yep. So, what'd it be? 300 down. Scratches, right? And. Hmm. 
Nice. Let's test it out. I suppose not. No, no, no. Did I mention to be deadly beasts? I'm all the way back to level eleven. That's gay. They'll be. So I can recreate one of these fights if I want to. That's sweet. Let's test out the blade. Why can't the enemies just fight back? Can't you just fight back? Forget this. I'm gonna learn the features later. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there.
rubbing me blind, you know. No discounts. Not even for you. Finished, are you? Clive. Coin purse weighing you down. I don't need this. I reckon I can find a buyer. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You got out else? You're rubbing me blind, you know. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Come back. Now it's got to see Joshua. Oh, nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. How are you feeling, Joshua? Better than I was. But not nearly as well as you should be. Your cuts and burns may have healed, but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast. Then what would you have had me do? It was no ordinary foe we faced. It was the Warden of Darkness. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. It's just... I have never felt so powerless. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps... Uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Is this place? <gasps> Don't move. It's fresh from the well.
grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. Who are you talking to? And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or try to. Earns me enough for bread, most days. Forgive me. I have nothing to... I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. <sighs> You're going then? Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Will you promise to come back and visit? Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. So what, gay guy, is it good now? Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. I can think. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's continue. A few, but I doubt they'll stop you. You will take your medicine. Of course, Lady Dyer. So I'm leaving already, are you? <sighs> How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Don't know. About the same amount of time it took us to get here. Maybe less. If your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Then we must find a place they won't seem to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you come in! While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. I wish to pick his brains about Ultima. Then I'll talk to Karen about supplies for the journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Ah. <sighs> I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? 
Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't see my ship going to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere safe to land, you won't find it on my map. Then tell us what we will find. I'm sure you know better than we do. Um. No splinters. All right, all right. If it will get you out of my hair. But interrupt me, and it's over. Understood. Barnabas Tharm, the one they call the Last King. Understand him, and you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas, and barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valathia. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still Damn. sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be <laughs> territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say, naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the Enterprise is anything but ill-equipped. And Mid has made land there before. Now, if only there were someone with an intimate knowledge of the Shadow Coast and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? I said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what genuine intelligence might earn me. Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. We... On board. Alright. Visit the shelves. Okay. I have no reason to assume other. Clive, 
You must listen to this. Rosman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on Storm. What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the Ale Hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat. <sighs> Colors and staying conspicuous. Uh, just get on with it. You leave us behind and return to storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name, but like Helen, I'm not leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry, I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. and lumps, the lot of them. It's a one. They can still walk. How 
How do you split the sea? There's something wrong. Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. All right, let's do this. We're now in Ash. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Or I could just use my chocobos. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. What's up? You took her icon, didn't you? Yes. Yes, I did. She understood. What? Dude! Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this? We'll save you. We'll save us all. I do. <sighs> then so be it. Just don't forget. You're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. Footfall in Ash. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Yeah! Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? This place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Kashik here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time.
Yay. Nineteen eighty. <laughs> Run like the wind, balls up! Yeah, Enough of you are there. the rest. It's Camber all over again. Where the hell are the royalists? Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clyde. delegation we should send a warning to the others no my uncle will have an eye on the coast I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests our mark is Drake's spine and there's a lot of road between us and it we press on to stone here hi you never know it might not be a nest of slavering monsters <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do, mostly. What do you mean, mostly? You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own. Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is so old, it's hard to tell.
ways up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Easter. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Reeks like a mobile's asshole. Though I'm guessing it's not the smell that will kill us. I ain't got time. I'm looking down. That must be East, lads. What do you think, Clive? Then we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter, Gav! No quarter! Here they come! 
and come and come and come. Oh my god! Thank you, Sid.
Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Oh, F! Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. Good. My master awaits you in the capital. Though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. That's what Odin looks like. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this? We can't get to Drake's spine. Unless you have a higher advantage. What did you do? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? Yeah, we're screwed. Oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to get through that? I have no idea. We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him. Then that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition. We don't even know where the fucker went. How about we cool our heads and think this through, eh? Maybe there's something here we can use. Search the abandoned village. <sighs> I thought we got them all. So did I. Turned, all right. <laughs> Pregnant. Edda, 
forgive me for asking, but what went on here? It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Archie. One by one, people went mad. Minds taken by the ether. Till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run. And, and then the nights came. And I didn't know what to do. This, uh, okay, is... Just a story. Something our grandparents told us when we misbehaved. About how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath. The end of the world. You said the others went mad. But where did they go? They... They all left. Left where? The one east. To the tower. To Reverie. The elders. The healer. The blacksmith. My husband. Thinking he did this. Of course. Mm -hmm. Who else could it be? Fair. We're in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. This tower... That's where we'll find the king. Same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be. Vessel be free. Garuda, Ramu, Shiva, Titan, mm -hmm. Bahamut, mm -hmm. Odin, mm -hmm. and a free. Leviathan the Lost is here. But where is the fiend? Now, uh, where is Ifrit? Ifrit, where are you?
So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? What does he want? So that's how it's gonna be then. I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. Just if listen to him. Return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? Aye. <sighs> Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow, and so will I. No use calling Ambrosia now. Straight home now. Too slow. Nice try. Too slow. Nice try.
Let's go. Let's roll ready. Yeah. Damn it. This is it, boy. I've come for you, Barnabas. Stay close. The last king. The tower. It's alive. More echoes of the fallen. They need to feed on either. Get me in here. seem to have a mind of their own. Now that's not... Well, they just must have gravity in this. Ah! 
Oh! Oh! That was pretty cool. Nice solo. There. Now what? Who's next? Anyone want to face me? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. No one disrespects me at my house. They messed up gravity. They really messed up gravity in this one. Let there be little light. They really messed up gravity. If I were yep. Bias, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world.
Everybody! Come here! I have a surprise for you! Oh, you got more. Ugh, the physics on this game really does not make sense. I can't wait to tell my cousin this. If she will even care. She probably doesn't even care. She, pro she doesn't even like me anyway. And I really don't get it. I was so nice to her so many times. Like, every time she keeps coming over to my house, I always say, Hey, cousin, how are you doing? And she always says, F you. And, like, I don't get it. I'm just so nice to her. That's new. Like, we even watched How to Train Your Dragon together. And she loves How to Train Your Dragon. And I'm, just, I'm actually joking. She doesn't like it. She hates it. And she doesn't even know who Toothless is, like... Who the hell doesn't know who Toothless is? Anyways, about my cousin, I don't get why she's so mean to me all the time. Like, I am so nice to her. Like, I really am. Like, I am so nice to her. 
Like seriously, every every week she always comes over to my house and I always say, hey, how are you doing? And she always says, shut up. And, uh, and, so, and I just don't get it. I've been so nice to her so many times and I never talk bad to her. And hell, I even asked her if she could watch How to Train Your Dragon with me. And she said no because she doesn't like it. And I was like, I don't get it. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is really good. And she just said, no, I hate it. It's the worst. But we did watch 1 and 2 and she did not like it. But I personally like it. The first How to Train Your Dragon film I ever watched was 2. And I personally like it. And she doesn't. She does not like it. And we even watched Arcane together and she thinks it's boring. And you want to know what's the messed up part about this? Every time she comes over to my house, all she ever wants to do is play GTA 5. Like, damn! Can't we just have a conversation for once? Toggle. Toggle. Oh, there you are, boy. That was bull crap.
What? Are you kidding me? What? What? Okay, okay, stand back, stand back, stand back. Might do it again.
Oh, come on. Please tell me I got to kill him quickly. I guess not. What's one more, eh, Toggle?
Pastor. He's here. I can feel him. That's better. The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. Watcha. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Uh, that's what I want to hear. I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. Mm -hmm. And carry on I shall. Mm -hmm. Not as a puppet. Uh -huh. But as a man. Yeah. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet... There were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him.
proven. The Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Just get on with the fight already! <laughs> Very well. Come then. Finally. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you, but the weakness of yours. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know the truth. Why are you doing so little damage? Why is it doing only little damage? Yeah, didn't have much health bar, so eh. I mean, I didn't have much like health, so yeah. But why was it only doing little damage? If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know the truth.
with the might of a god, yet still you fight like a man. Let's see what, let's see what he's gonna pull off. God chose you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope, when there is none. I need a frit. I need a frit. I need a frit. A frit. I need. That's what I'm talking about. Thank <laughs> you. 
Forget it anyway. I was in low health anyway, so eh. And when I regenerate, I'll have more health. Ha -ha. I mean, I'll have more healing potions. Ha -ha. Perhaps you still require persuasion. Give me out, give me out, give me out! No. You still require
Nej. your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. Oh. What the? Thanks, boy. Damn it. I need a frit. I need a frit. I need a frit. Afraid I need you. Thank you. Damn, that sword is huge. Now what are you gonna do if you have no sword? You are not the fool I took you for. And so it ends. No. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs>
To be kidding! That's not fair! I want to be a god! How am I supposed to hit it? Come! Have you the strength? Have you the will? I... I... Man is crazy. Man, 
Let me try it again. I already damaged him so many times, so probably he'll probably give me a second chance. <sighs> Yay. Wait, 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 why? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out! Next time I play a game like this, I need to put on a list on how many times I died.
Stand victorious. My will the prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Huh. Clive Rossfield. There is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> you relinquished nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? shown a fantasy and you chose to believe it but you were wrong there is no world but the one we live in and that world that world is worth saving even if it means killing a god I promised that I would make you 
Presentable. Did I not? We shall fulfill our destinies. Just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Long lost salvation. I'm coming home. Tell me, how does it feel? Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. Hold on a second. Since they stripped me of my rank and banished me from the battlefield. 
now I'm stuck driving the backsides of this lot while the city fans are right tails off with a man half my age! And then you turn up! What the hell are you doing here anyway? What indeed? <coughs> the enemy numbers 200,000 or more counting the yours. There are simply not enough soldiers counting in the capital to repel an army of that size. Then, one of the central key. Held by a contingent of soldiers and bearers from the surrounding boroughs. They are the sole reason it still stands. And all it took was an army on their doorstep to bring them together. The prospect of death does put things into perspective. <laughs> perspective. Perhaps it's what we've lacked all along. The gay guy. Our numbers are few, but I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men <coughs> in the key. <sighs> Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. the and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. Say bye-bye to your boyfriend. And you're not going to see him ever again. And I hope he dies. And I paused that because it was just too gay to see. Like, ugh. ugh. I don't support the gays. Uh, like I keep saying so many times, I do not support the gays. That's because I really do not. I hate them. They're gross. And not just me. Everyone in Dubai do not support them. Like every Muslim in the world, they don't support it. Because it's not religious. Because whoever is gay, they don't believe God. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. Oh, they're, they're gone. Yep.
they are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise, nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. I like the last one, this one's less noisy. I got it from Nova. My parents got it from Nova Desk. It was a birthday gift. Do you think that was wise? Yes, it was. Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. Oh, yeah, I got one. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned. All here by choice. All to serve Ultima. In his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? A lot. Oh. He didn't consider it killing. Or a Mercy of sorts. A way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. That doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the mother crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? I mean, wasn't it obvious? We know that the Mother Crystals have been bleeding the land of Ether. And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the Blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the Stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freak that he desires, but a freak and Phoenix both, that which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. 
A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. Yep. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Yeah, we're going to do it in the next video, which will probably be a little bit earlier since it's a bit early. And maybe I have enough time to make another three hour video. Brotherhood. Let's see what this is. First, let me just change the. Oh, I already have it. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.